guys, here it is, the video you've been waiting for. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get a complete 360 degree view from your FPV plane, and also how to get great GoPro video at the same time. For those of you that are limited to only 180 degree panning, or worse yet, no pan at all, it's time to get excited because the following build is easy and quick, and it will open up a whole new dimension of excitement while you're in the cockpit of your favorite plane. Now, when I first started flying FPV, I was so excited to get airborne that I didn't even have my GoPro mounted on a pan servo at first. All I had was just a straight out the front view. And even worse was the fact that the nose of my Skywalker filled up a large part of the HD video, hampering my ground view. My temporary solution for that was I ordered a programmable servo and a servo programmer to go with it. I mounted my GoPro on a simple wooden base, set the servo to get full 180 degree movement and I was all set. And once again I was so eager to get flying that instead of designing a good way to mount my flight camera to match my GoPro movements, I just screwed my live video camera to the side of the new GoPro mount. This worked well but it had its drawbacks. For one, it wasn't very streamlined and I had to cut out a lot of the foam to get the side mounted camera room to swivel to the right. Another problem I had to solve had to do with the fact that my pan control was located on a non-centering dial on my transmitter. What this meant was that after panning my cameras either way in flight, I had to take off my video goggles and look down at the dial to see if I had re-centered it correctly. This problem was fairly easily solved by bending a piece of wire with some yellow nye rod at the end of it and gluing it in place directly in front of my live camera. This way, I could recenter the camera easily by centering the yellow nye rod in my video feed. I just turned the dial until I saw the yellow nye rod and I was centered again. Now, once again, this was not an elegant solution. The yellow nye rod shows up in all my GoPro videos, and I kept bumping it loose and out of alignment while handling the Skywalker. I had to re-glue it several times, and it was just a pain. So, after many months of flying and filming and testing, I had decided that I wanted the following aspects incorporated into my new pan mount. First of all, most importantly, I wanted full 360 degree movement for my GoPro HD video recordings. Also, I wanted the same 360 degree panning from my live video feed. And three, I wanted both cameras to turn in unison at the same time so they would point at the same area of sky or ground at the same time. Fourth, I wanted my GoPro to have a completely unobstructed view of the entire forward area of sky ahead but I wanted the live video feed to have a tiny part of the nose in the lower area of the screen so I could tell if my camera was pointing directly forward or not while I had my video goggles on. Six, I wanted both cameras to be lined up more or less along the center line of the plane to maintain a balanced look and to avoid the extra side drag that my sidecar mounted camera was producing. And seven, I wanted my live video camera to have a neutral view directly along the longitudinal axis of my aircraft, but I wanted my GoPro HD camera to be pointed downward slightly because for the high definition flight videos that I like to compose, the ground always tends to be more interesting than the bare sky. So while both cameras will be facing the exact heading at all times, when centered my live video feed would give a more accurate representation of my aircraft's true pitch enabling me to nail the landing flares much better. So with all these things in mind and after much thought and deliberation I decided the best thing to do would be to mount the GoPro above the live video camera which is the most unique thing about this design. I did think about having separate servos for each camera but this would only complicate things and add unnecessary weight and battery drain. Now the only thing that I was really concerned about with this arrangement was what might happen if my plane flipped over on landing, which it tends to do a lot because I mounted my landing gear a little too far back. Well, that question was quickly answered over several uh, ensuing flights. Now, each clip you see here of my Skywalker making a less than elegant landing occurred with my brand new over and under camera mount installed, and both cameras, the new camera mount and my uh, new durable pan servo, all came through completely unscathed. So the durability of it has already been tested and it's proven to be just as durable as the Skywalker itself. The only other thing I was worried about was with the heavy GoPro mounted so far above the pan servo, would my video be shaky? Well, I can tell you that 30 flights later, this pan mount is still taking rock solid video in all conditions. 
so fear not, it's tested out perfect. Okay, this video is already running a little long, so I'm going to have to break it up into two parts. The good news is you won't have to wait long to see the build video because I will be uploading it immediately after this one. So check my channel now for part two, the build.